Hey guys, Tress here. Um, welcome back to another guide. Today I'm going to be talking about beginner alchemy and um, advanced alchemy, and I'm going to put timestamps so you guys, if you guys already know how to do beginner alchemy, you guys can skip to the advanced and how to make money with alchemy. Um, so first off, we're just going to start with beginner, and um, and then we'll head into the advanced. So um for the beginner alchemy what you're gonna need we're gonna run over the uh, few things the yeah the few items you're gonna need um so number one obviously the um ad uh, the alchemy clothes sorry the silver embroidered alchemist clothes um i recommend plus two to plus three i've failed quite a few plus threes so i'm currently sitting with plus twos um there are no uh there's no outfit for the alchemy like there is for the cook's clothes so you won't get a minus two reduction for alchemy so that's why i really really suggest pushing for plus three so that you can get that minus for alchemy time um again a life stone for minus 1.1 seconds i would also recommend tef sandwich this is probably a must just because again like i said you don't have the minus two second for the uh, alchemy costume so that's going to deduct another 0.05 and then of course you want to have the advanced alchemy tool now for those of you guys who don't know where to make uh, advanced alchemy tools glish has a tier four um tool workshop which you're gonna need and uh, they make uh, you can make advanced alchemy tools there now just to recap to get rough stone you are gonna be able to get rough stone in pilgrim's haven sorry in pilgrim's haven which is way over here past sandgrain bazaar just keep going straight and you'll meet pilgrim's haven and you can farm a ton of rough stone there. Next, you're gonna need usable scantling. If you are set up in Calpheon or Grana, um, you can actually go to Trent and farm in this area here. There is a lot of trees, um, give you a lot of pine and fir, and you'll get a lot of logs there. Probably one of the places that I would recommend the most for gathering uh, logs to make into usable scantling, which you're gonna need for the advanced um alchemy tools uh also you're gonna need black stone powder which i will get into a little bit later but it basically just weapon stones grind them down um i really recommend weapon stones because they give 80 to 100 black stone powder each so about if you buy 100 weapon stones that gives you about 8,000 black stone powder which is really really good um and uh yeah you don't have to buy them off the market or or wait to snipe them you're also going to need melted iron shards, which you can obviously get from any iron node. If you guys don't know how to get iron nodes, you can just click on this production node information, scroll down here, go to mining, and then it'll pull up the, uh, the mining nodes. And Southern Sanaga would probably be the closest to Glish, and that gives your iron ore. So hopefully uh, you guys sort of understand how to make the uh, advanced alchemy tools so uh, let's move on here and uh, let's uh, get a little bit more in depth all right so if we pull up my learning tab we're gonna go to these two recipes right here all right so clear liquid reagent um something you're gonna be spamming a lot at from beginner zero probably to um i'd say skilled one you're gonna be spamming pure powder and clear liquid so clear liquid takes uh, sunrise herb, uh, purified water, one salt, and one weed. So to get sunrise herb, very, very easy. If you guys do not have the note already, you can grab it from Balanos Forest here, and uh, that will give you sunrise herb. You can just throw down a Velia worker and put that onto Balanos Forest, probably one of, probably one of the first nodes that I would get if you're going to go into alchemy. Um, next up, we have the purified water. Um, if you guys don't know how to get pur purified water, just go to a material vendor. If you guys don't know how to get find a material vendor in your city, you click on the top right, NPC, and then you can go, oh, sorry, let me exit there. Okay, so you click that, you click on material, and then it'll highlight um, an auto path there. So that's something you could do to get yourself uh, bottles of water, like, sorry, containers of, well, whatever, you buy bottles, and then you go to any river and you fill them up with water, which will take your energy, right? Um, and then you will be able to refine them by clicking your L and you're gonna go to, um, I'm pretty sure it's filtering, um, but yeah, you do filtering and then it will turn it into purified water. That 
yeah, it's filtering, not this. Don't heat it because heating will give you distilled water. If I'm fairly correct, if I remember correctly, um, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section down below. All right, so salt is very easy to get. You just get that from an innkeeper and weeds. Um, I do a lot of farming, so you'll get a lot of weeds from farming. But if you guys don't farm, you can always go and collect weeds from any bushes. But Chikadu has a lot of weeds. Definitely a place that I would recommend to get um, a lot of weeds. And there's a lot of bushes there, so you can grab yourself a ton of weeds. In the around the elephant zone, um, if you guys have ever gone to Chikadu, uh, there's a lot of water there, and there's elephants, and the weeds there give a lot of weeds. So sorry, the the bushes there give a lot of weeds. So that's something you can always look into. I know it's a little bit far, but um, that's a place that I would recommend for a lot of fast gathering. So moving on here, pure powder reagent. Silver azalea, probably one of the things that I would get for one of your nodes. And silver azalea is obtainable from Northern Plain of Serendia and Lynch Farm Runes. So I actually have both of those going and I do have silver azalea. Um, currently, I actually don't have Silver Azalea and Calpheon because I am currently creating my Silver Azalea because I actually produce more than I use in Alchemy. Uh, but we'll go on to, we'll go a little bit more in depth there um, in the advanced section of this video. So Purified Water, again, same thing that I just mentioned. Sugar, bought from the N NPC Innkeeper. And Weeds, same thing. So like I said, you're going to be spamming Pure Powder Reagent and Clear Liquid till about Skilled 1. From skilled one to professional one, I would be spamming sinner's blood and clown's blood. So sinner's blood requires um, bloody tree knot, and it requires powder flame, clear liquid reagent, which you made earlier, and sheep's blood. So sheep's blood is obtainable from sheep mountain, which is right, let me turn that on, right here. This is where you want to be, right here on my mark and that's sheep mountain there you will need yourself um, some fluid collectors and um, you can grab fluid collectors off the market obviously there's not always going to be magic fluid collectors um, but you can also al always get yourself a shining fluid collectors if you need um, so uh, there's that so that's how to collect the sheep's blood next up we have the clear liquid reagent which you made powder of flame um, which is obtainable from Northern Hydeal Quarry. Now, I'm not going to name every single node um, that you can get all these materials from, but I'm going to name the nodes that are pretty close. Powder Flame right here in Northern Hydeal Quarry. So that's another easy one. Bloody Tree Knot. Um, you can get that from Tree Ant Forest, and I'll show you guys that quickly here. Oops, my bad. Uh, Tree Ant Forest is right here, and the node will give you Bloody Tree Knot plus Fur Timber. So. Okay, so let's move on to Clown's Blood. Another thing you're going to need, these two types of blood you're going to need for the recipes that I'm going to be running over in the advanced section here. Again, Clear Liquid Reagent. So you're probably going to be spamming Clear Liquid Reagent quite a bit. Um, you're going to need Spirit Leaf, Powder of Darkness, and Wolf's Blood. You can actually use any type of Type 2 blood here, but Wolf's Blood is probably the most common. Um, you can buy it off the market. I probably say buy it off the market unless you want to go farm wolves yourselves. You're also going to need Powder of Darkness, which you can actually grab from the same node that I mentioned that you can grab yourself the Powder of Flame. And Powder of Darkness is just in the Iron node there. So uh, that's some easy Powder of Darkness for you. Spirit Leaf is obtainable from, again, not going to name all the nodes, but uh, Lumberjack's Rest Area will give you Spirit Leaf which is what you need for the uh, Sinner's Blood. So uh, you're going to be spamming that, and um, that's you're going to be spamming from, again, Skilled 1 to Professional 1. Your Alchemy time is not going to be as fast as your cooking time. As you guys can see here, I have 4.2 seconds, um, and it's really slow, but if you manage to grab yourself the plus 3 Alchemy Clothes, that'll bring you down to 3.1. And then if you manage to grab yourself a sharp alchemy stone, you can bring it down to about, um, I'd say, like 2.8 or 2.7. Um, and then if you, of course, have, there's some event items you can get that reduce cooking time more. Um, if you guys were actually playing during the Termian event, uh, the Termian event gave some Termians, uh, I, I forgot what they were, but they were like Termian food products that you could eat and they would decrease your cooking time. I, I sadly used all mine 
Um, but just watch out for the events that do give items that reduce your cooking time and your alchemy time. Now, um, that's about it, honestly, for the beginner's guide to alchemy. So we're going to move on to the more advanced guide and how to make money with alchemy. Uh, because if you combine the imperial cooking and imperial alchemy, you will definitely make uh, quite a bit of money. So let's hop into it real quick. All right. So starting off, we are going to start off with um, shock elixirs. Now, um, elixir shock is something that I use personally myself. So I actually keep them um, on me, on my striker, actually. Uh, but elixir shock gives you plus two critical rate. Now, the reason why a lot this is really popular is because a lot of people don't always run, you know, four crit rate on their stat bar here. Most of the time, they're going to run one to two and they'll have a Margoria meal or they'll have a Serendia meal and then they'll run a Shock Elixir to cap out on five, right? It's so much easier because then they could like play around with attack speed, max out attack speed, max out movement and other stuff, other stats that they want to do. So let's, uh, let's run over the recipe here for Elixir of Shock. So first you're going to need Clown's Blood, which I mentioned you need Spirit Leaf, Powder of Darkness, Clear Liquid Reagent, and two bloods, mostly wolf. You're gonna need tiger mushrooms, which you can gather from Bree Tree Ruins or a Camasilv Temple, um, but we're gonna show the Bree Tree here. So this is tiger mushroom, and it's gonna give you big tiger mushroom, which is something you can use um, in other alchemy recipes, which I'm not gonna cover today. Setter sap, you can gather from Longleaf Tree Forest, which is down here. Longleaf Tree Forest is over here, sorry. You're going to be able to grab setter sap from there, basically any setter node, to be honest. And um, and then you need powder of time, which you can grab from Quint Hill, Ancient Fisher, or any lead node. So uh, Quint Hill here will give you the powder of time, which obviously has lead ore. So like I said, any lead ore, um, Quint Hill or um, Ancient Fisher, which is way over here. So if you know if you set up in Hydel, you can always grab Ancient Fisher with a Hydelian worker. Um, so that, that's actually what I do. So um, yeah, that's basically all it is to making Elixir Shock, and that you can either sell in the market and it'll sell, or you could keep it for yourself or you know whatever you're doing PvP wise. Um, but I actually keep it for myself. I don't really sell Elixir of Shock. Um, you will get the blue proc called Elixir of Strong Shock which you can always sell the blue elixirs because they do sell for a lot more money um, than the normal elixirs. As you can see here, um, elixir, where is it? Elixir of Strong Shock sells for 65,000 silver, whereas Elixir Shock only sells for 12,000 at max. So you're definitely making about six times more. All right, so next up we have Worker's Elixir. For those of you guys who are obviously, you know, having a ton of silver azalea um, I mentioned that I actually crate my silver azalea in Port Furia here I make silver azalea crates if you guys don't have you know a worker empire and you're not you're not wanting to create silver azalea right now then that's perfectly fine you could still sell it on the marketplace they do sell for uh, they sell really fast and they sell for a decent amount of money um, here they sell for 7600 silver each I actually personally use them because I do a lot of gathering myself and it gives plus two gathering so i do spam those quite a bit um now these are going to take sinner's blood so uh, let's quickly run over how to make sinner's blood sinner's blood requires bloody tree knot from tree ant forest which i will show you guys here where is it right here uh bloody tree knot we ran over that earlier uh powder flame i showed that in northern high Dale query ash sap you're gonna get from any um ash node so um if you guys have ash nodes like Goblin Cave here, uh, oh, sorry, that was the wrong node here, Ewa's Hill, sorry, my bad, Ewa's Hill gives ash sap, so you can always throw on a Velian worker and grab the uh, ash sap for yourself, so that's also good. And then, of course, Silver Azalea, I already mentioned that earlier, you can grab that in Northern Plain of Serendia or Lynch Farm Ruins, and that will give you your Silver Azalea, so you'll be spamming um, this to work as Elixir. All right, so next up, my favorite, Elixir of Demi-Human Hunt. Now there is two parts to this. So we're going to run over the materials needed and then I'm also going to show you guys the um, Imperial Crates for the Alchemy. And that's going to be where you're going to make quite a bit of money there. So let's start off with Sinner's Blood. You guys already know how to make it because I just ran over it. 
arrow mushroom, you're actually going to be able to grab that from one node over here called Forest of Plunder. You're going to get arrow mushroom and big arrow mushroom, which you can use in another recipe. A blackstone powder, again, I mentioned you can grind down one blackstone weapon and get 80 to 100 uh, blackstone powder, and you need three of them. So if you're crating um, like I am, uh, then you're going to be using a lot of blackstone powder because I have blackstone powder here, like 3,000 of that, and then I also have more in Port of Furia, 5,000, but then I'm also using blackstone powder for Elixir of Demi-Human Hunt, which is using quite a bit. As you can see, they take three here. Uh, so just prioritize what you want to use your blackstone powder for because it definitely gets a little bit expensive. 100 blackstone, powder, blackstone weapons sell for about 21 mil. Um, and you can burn through a lot of blackstone powder making this elixir of demi-human hunt. Um, so just keep that in mind. So first up, you can actually grab from um, the Mancha Forest. And Mancha Forest is right on the left side of Calfion here. And that's going to be able to give you fur timber and um, fur sap. So that's... Uh, that's the last part of the recipe here. Recipe here, sorry, and it's also going to give you the blue proc uh, called Fierce Demi Human Elixir, um, Fierce Demi Human Hunting Elixir. Sorry, my bad. And that sells for six thousand each. So it's probably um, a lot smarter to just make Elixir of Demi Human Hunt and not worry about the blue procs because it's weird, but the blue procs actually sell for less in this case than the Elixir of Demi Human Hunt, which sells for sixteen point seven k each. So. There's that. Let's go out and let's head ourselves over to the uh, Imperial Crafting Delivery Beck guy here that I mentioned um, in my cooking guide. If you guys want to go check that out, let's scroll down to medicine here. You can make the Al Apprentice Alchemy Box, which gives 20 clear liquid reagents and 20 pure powder reagents, which you should have a ton of. You can always turn in 23 of those for 150,000 each. So let's scroll down here and I'll show you guys what you do want to make, which is the Professional Elixir of Demi-Human Hunt Alchemy Box. Now these sell for 315,000 silver each and you can turn in 32 of those. The price of 315,000 is actually almost the same price as Artisan crates here, which is why it's so good because you don't need to be Artisan to make almost the same am amount of money as um, Artisan crates, you just need to be professional. And um, so I would definitely recommend making the Professional Elixir of Demi-Human Hunts, especially if you can turn in all your crates um, every three hours. That's probably one of the best alchemy crates that I would say to turn in, other than Golden Hand Elixir and a few others that I might mention in an advanced uh, alchemy guide down the line. Um, but honestly, I think other than that, there's not really much else to alchemy. That's probably the most I can say on money tips for Imperial and beginner alchemy um, crafting. So uh, if you guys have uh, any other questions about alchemy, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. Um, and if you guys have uh, any tips for me, I don't know, maybe some of you guys out there do more alchemy than I do. As you can tell, I'm only um, artisan 341% and uh, into alchemy. Um, so uh, you guys can, if you guys have tips for me, then yeah, feel free to drop them in the, also in the comment section down below. Um, so yeah, as always guys, I will see you all later and uh, peace out.